Hi there, I'm Amy Cassandra Martinez for Red Carpet Report in Hollywood for the 30th anniversary of My Friend's Place. Okay, so, oh, and I just noticed this. I'm really loving everything that you're bringing here. Let's just, let's just jump into the glasses. Though. You can touch them. I feel you got very close. Oh, okay. Very can close. I? Yeah, if you want. Can I mean, I don't want to. I mean, I'm little. Well, yeah, of course. Oh, wow, they're very soft. Yeah, they're soft. Yeah. The soft acetate. Okay. Yeah. I, don't, I actually don't know much about. It's really the only word I know in the uh, in the right. realm of eyewear. So I'm, I can't show off anymore. Is what I'm saying. No, it's. I mean, hey, that was plenty. Yeah. And well, and this. Um, it's not a pocket square. I don't know no, what it this. Is. Oh, it is. It is. I just folded it in a in a funny, silly way. I like this. Yeah, well, thank you. and then we have this. I'm sorry. There's just so much to look at that I'm really. I'm a very I really loud person. No, yeah. it's not loud at all. No. Thank you. no. Uh, but speaking of tonight, what exactly brings you here, and uh, what drew you to come uh, tonight? I met a guy named Jeff Katz uh, somewhere. I forget some somewhere, and uh, he runs part of the show over at my friend's place. And once I got to know him a little better, he was like, "Hey, why don't you come by uh, and get get a tour of the facility?" I was like, "Sure." And when I went, and just like immediately, I felt comfortable, and it was really interesting to see that the kids that are there were also equally as comfortable. You know, and they have a safe space, and they're able to grab a shower with, like, uh, you know, have not having to like look over their shoulder, and, and be able to have a meal, and also learn things to get on their feet, possibly for the first time ever, you know, and not be afraid of society. And so when I got to tour the facility and see all that stuff, I was like, man, at, like, as soon as the schedule breaks open a little bit, I want to be involved as much as possible because you guys are doing amazing things. And you know, what's so crazy is that people aren't aware of everything that's going on, you know, with My Friend's Place or just the homeless population in LA and around the country. Um, what do you think is something that we can do to help? Man, I don't know. It's a, it's a very complicated situation just because it's <laughs> more good. about, it's out. like somehow the roof over their head is like the least uh, important part, right? you know, because it's more about like mental health and just being, and, and comfort and, uh, and fear, you know, so that you aren't afraid of being able, of being integrated back into society. So that's what's so cool about my friend's place is just that they look at the, the person, they're like the, the, uh, the uh, what's it, like the holistic version of help because they look at the whole person and not just like take these pills and your serotonin levels of fluctuate or whatever. Um, so I think it's just like more stuff like this, you know, and, uh, and this should be a famous, famous, famous organization. And I hadn't heard about it uh, for many years. And so it's, it's, you know, I wish that more homeless facilities were able to do stuff like this. That's not just like a cot and a sandwich, you know, because it's much more complicated than that. Well, and speaking of, of really cool um, organizations and really cool things, Lethal Weapon yeah. is also very, very cool. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, what you're working on with Lethal Weapon in the future? Sure, yeah. Uh, well, we're waiting on our season three renewal, you know, so fingers crossed. Um, and uh, we actually wrap next week, which is crazy because we work for so long throughout the year. It's 10 months out of the year. And these people, we get to become like a family, you know? So it's weird to think about like it ending at some point and then having like a few months off and like, I mean, we hang out a lot outside of the show, which is nice. And so it won't be that estranged. Um, but it's a really hard show to work on, you know, not so much for me, but for like Damon and Clay and like just all the stunts and the amount of hours that they put in and stuff. It's a very welcome break, and so uh, so it's cool to just see like all the good work um, paying off because people like the show or seem to like the show, and um, yeah. So hopefully we get another season and we could do it again. Yes, let's, let's we're crossing everything. Mm. Um, and now speaking of tonight, you know we have Jack Black uh, emceeing, hosting, and we also have Miley Cyrus performing. Who are you more more excited to see? Uh, Jack, because we Miley's great, but I'm not much of a pop uh, music guy. <laughs> to be completely frank, sorry. Um, I went to the Goosebumps premiere. I've been a huge fan of his for a long time. And I was at that premiere, and I, uh, my wife is my usual plus one. And uh, she couldn't make it that time uh, for whatever reason, so I brought two of my other uh, friends. And they were just, like, the worst plus ones ever. What? Like, they weren't... Like, you know, you have to, like, position yourself in certain places and, like, act certain ways to not make it seem like you're there for the free popcorn, which, like, they were obsessed <laughs> with. And I was like, hey, we're going to go meet Jack. And they're like, no, I'm good. And we're like, what are you talking about? What? And so I didn't get to meet him and tell him how much I like the movie. And also, Nacho Libre, because I'm a huge fan of that. And uh, so hopefully I could tell him at least part of that story <laughs> when I see him. I mean, heck, tell the whole story. Yeah. You have a perfect place to do it now. Yeah, please so, be receptive. Yeah, well, I'm so excited for you to get to talk to him. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> yes, thank you for talking to us. Yeah, thank have you. fun. Yeah, thank good you. to meet you. You too.
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below what is your favorite charity.